Hi, and welcome to Carolina Varsity's 2015 Week 8. This is a playoff look, uh, a short preview look of the playoffs for the uh, Big South Conference. I'm Dale Ross. And I'm Jeff Miller. And uh, so, Jeff, I'm going to let you run down the standings and uh, if you quickly uh, tell us what you think the projections are for the uh, uh, Big South. Okay, you got South Point um, leading the way at 4-2 and two overall. 2 and 0 in conference play and East Gaston they're all they're um 4 and 2 and 1 and 1 in the Big South uh -huh. and Forest use the other um team that's 2 and 0 and they are 3 and 3 overall then uh down the list is Ashbrook also at 3 and 3 and they're 1 and 1 in conference play and North Gaston they're also 3 and 3 and one and one in conference play. Then Hunter Huss is two and four. They're one and one in conference play. And Stuart Kramer, three and three. O oh and two in conference play. And Lake Norman Charter, two and three. And O oh and two in conference play. And so out of that, we got three and two A teams. Yes. Uh, so the three A teams, who are the top uh, three A teams right now? Right now, it's uh, <clears throat> South Point. And force you both at uh, two and zero in conference play, okay. and uh, then East Gaston, Ashbrook, and North Gaston are the other three A teams, and they're all at one and one. Okay, so looking at those teams, none of them have five wins, which five wins is a magical number to uh, squeeze into the playoffs. Six gets you in, so nobody's at that uh, point yet. Uh, how are you projecting? What are your projections on uh, the uh, the top, uh, maybe the top two finisher? Who's going to be number one and number two? Well, after last week, that's kind of tougher to tougher to call because given that North Ashbrook was my um, second team in the conference, then they lose ten to nothing at home to North Gaston, which that kind of. Um, almost had me falling out of my chair in the press box the other day. And uh, it's really hard to call now because as you've heard it uh, on any given night, anybody can bump you off. But uh, I see South Point uh, finishing the conference undefeated. And I see them getting their thrown back because uh, they're probably the most consistent out of, uh, out of all of us. And, you know, Ashbrook is still in play. They could still, uh, um, you know, lose to South Point, then finish uh, <clears throat> finish off the rest of the conference and likely lock up second place. And, of course, East Gaston and Forest View, they're also in play. East Gaston um, and Forest View, they've been pretty banged up this year. And... Uh, you know, given that East Gaston only beat Lake Norman Charter twelve to seven, that uh, that kind of, <clears throat> um, like I said, shakes everything up a little bit. And Hunter Huss, uh, um, I see them. They're the I see them being the top two A team in the conference. Okay, so in the three A, we think uh, you think uh, South Point will be the number one seed. That's what uh, will happen. And then the second place finisher you're thinking right now could be Ashbrook, and Ashbrook would go in as a uh, uh, a number two, uh, but uh, they would not be seated as a, a number two. They'll be seated as an at large based on their record, uh, unless they've changed that. Uh, and I need to look at the the way seedings happen this year, but. And then in the 2A, you were thinking Hunter Huss is going to uh, be the number one finisher out of the, the highest finishing 2A team? Yes, I do. And who is who do you think is going to be the number two high finishing 2A team? That's going to be determined Friday night as Stuart Kramer travels to Lake Norman Charter. Um, I see Stuart Kramer going up to Lake Norman Charter and beating them, but... You know, last Friday night kind of made my head hurt trying to figure out uh, some of these teams. I mean, of course, the the elements probably played a role into some of these games, but uh, um, that's 
That's what I'm going to go with. Hunter Huss, the number one two-way team, and Stuart Kramer, the number two two-way team. Okay, well, there you have it. Take a look at the North Carolina High School football report. We'll uh, have a good uh, look at there on the projections of what's going to happen this Friday night, the rest of the season, who it thinks might uh, make the playoffs and who might even make the uh, uh, championships. Thanks for watching.